Proctor was a farmer in love with a young servant girl. Oh, John, give me a soft word. Abby, I may think of you softly from time to time, but I will cut off my hand before I reach for you again. We never touched. Hi. But we did. She was thrown out by his wife. I know you, John Proctor. You love me. Whatever sin it is, you love me yet. And she's now possessed. Uh, she's taking her revenge. If you cry words against my wife, it will be the end of you. <laughs> I will not have her condemned. I am but God's finger, John. If he would condemn Elizabeth, she would be condemned. The truth is put on trial in 20th Century Fox's new film, The Crucible. The following conversation with Daniel Day-Lewis and screenwriter Arthur Miller is an intimate look into the making of the film. When I was writing The Crucible, I was writing it because I was being surrounded by a, a feverish uh, flood of accusations. But as I worked on it and discovered what I was writing about, John Proctor's guilt deriving from his own personal life and his marriage. I think the, what he suffers from is, ha is having caused pain to the person that he most loves. There were hints that she was out to destroy Mrs. Parker. I have a warrant for your wife. For what crime? Who charged her? For Abigail Williams' charge. Abigail wants me dead, John. You know it. In the beginning, she thought it was all kind of a joke. Yeah. But then people began to believe it, and she couldn't back off. Yeah, only one route to take. And that route was to believe it yourself. Yeah. Is it possible the spirits you have seen may be illusion only? Some sort Why, of... Why, this is a base question. I only ask you to consider... And what shall I consider? Have I seen my blood running out of my flesh, or have I not? Bearing in mind the sort of things that the children were very often subjected to by their parents, I mean, from floggings to hangings, depending on what it was, but you can understand any opportunity... Sure, <laughs> get back at it. And quite apart from anything else, before the story even starts, Abigail has committed a hanging offence. You'll be clapped in the stocks before you're 20. That she took command of this thing was quite marvellous. I mean, self-preservation is a powerful did. motivator, isn't it? In a short period of time, that girl was swinging the whole town around her head. She was the holy girl. She was confronting the devil in person. Judge Hawthorne has condemned 14 more people to the jail and promise hanging if they don't confess. Confess? To what? Anyone breathe a word and I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and I will bring with me a pointy reckoning that will shudder you. Those girls are dangerous. They're horrible. They're dangerous. <laughs> you created them. You must know some evil girls. Well, I don't know if you'd call it evil, but uh, the sexual repression in that society was such that uh, young women were told to walk in public when they walked down the street with their eyes lowered. Yeah. And in fact, their hands touching the side seams of their garments. Mm. It was really a, uh, an oppressive regime for a young woman. And uh, that an explosion should have occurred is really, it shouldn't surprise anybody. I saw Sarah Good with the devil! I saw Bridget Bishop with the I devil! I saw Goody Howe with the devil! I saw Goody Howe with the devil! The little crazy children are jangling the keys of the kingdom and common vengeance rights. The Lord will not give my wife to vengeance! So many people would be tempted to ask that question. Well, well why then is it relevant today? It's a fascination with this story in so many different societies. Mm. It's been going on now for now, whenever I wrote it, it's 45 or more years ago. And it shows no sign of abating. Because, because history continually repeats itself and there'll always be a capacity in us, presumably, to, to go on witch hunts. It's simply a hell of a story. Just the sheer storytelling that goes on in that in that movie, I think is, is fascinating. Anybody who can understand what they're saying will be stopped cold 
and they have to see how it comes out. I never dreamed any of this for you. I wanted you was all. That is a whole Mr. Danforth. She thinks to dance with me on my wife's grave. God help me, I love you.